Okay, so before we get into how to do the uh, Ubuntu installation, you first have to download the ISO. ISO is just a compressed file with all the information that you're going to need uh, for the installation of Ubuntu. You're going to need a USB thumb drive uh, or a CD. I prefer thumb drive because then, you know, I can just reuse the thumb drive later. But here's some things. We're going to be running Ubuntu 10, I'm sorry, 14.0. 04 LTS which is the long term term support edition you want to run that one because it updates every five years so you can keep it on your machine for a really long time and not have to worry about updating it consistently to the latest build which means you can also keep it on the same build and still get the updates like security updates and stuff of that nature now an Ubuntu desktop machine can run on a machine that's 700 uh, megahertz processor or better 512 megabytes of RAM and 5 gigs of actual hard drive space my rig I'm going to be using is a 1.7 gigahertz Atom processor with 4 gigs of RAM and 500 gigs of hard drive space. Now, just to give you guys a good idea of why or the rhyme and reason behind all this uh, or what to do is uh, normally you want to take a spare computer that you don't use anymore. And as long as you, the general rule of thumb is as long as that computer can run Windows XP, then you should be fine. So if you have an old Vista laptop, a Windows XP laptop, uh, or an old desktop, it's perfect. As long as the hardware works on it, you'll be fine. So let's go ahead and go to the Ubuntu website. Just close that out. That was the last video we just did here. And from the Ubuntu website, you're going to go to download. And then from download, you want the desktop edition. Like I said, the LTS. Um, you have to know which one you're using 64 32 bit. I'm going to say 64 bit. Um, because it's a fairly new machine. If your machine's running Vista, chances are you're running a 64-bit operating system. If your machine's running only XP, then there's a good chance you're only running a 32-bit operating system. I click the link down there to take me to the download page, and you're just going to want to save this file to your computer. Save it to the desktop. All right, and it's downloading. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this video, and then I'll go ahead and show you how to move this to a thumb drive.